Good morning. Well, morning here, afternoon, evening, whenever you watch this. Uh, today, what we're going to do, we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, it is warming up here, so the weather is getting a little bit better, but that actually makes things worse this time of year for the fishing because what what will happen is this warm rain and this warmer weather will wash the top layer of ice off so you don't have any safe ice for ice fishing and everything still froze over for open water, so it just kind of ends all fishing. Um, February's about over here when I'm making this video so our next fishing season that we'll have coming up will be trout season and trout season will open the end of March at least it did in, in years previous before uh, COVID last year it was delayed by a week or two and then they opened on a Tuesday of all things but uh, what we're going to do today is I was at my local sporting goods store the other day and i walked by i had some uh what you call those things those rebates rewards you know from the cards i had some of the rebates to use and i went in and what i went in for now this ever happened to you you go into a store for something i'm like i'm here and i'm just here for this and then you walk out with 15 other things that you didn't need so that's how i am with fishing stores so i went in for something that they didn't have that I was going to use those rebates on but I walked past this this is a trout box from mystery tackle box they sell these at Dick's now you don't have to subscribe to it to to get it and uh, actually the mail is a little slow in my area so let's open this up and see if there's anything we can catch some trout on for that trout season this is mystery tackle box by the catch co company box 83 Uh, well, it's got the, the keeper ruler on the box at that uh, that contest they have going. It says catch and win one catch catch a fish using one of the baits in this box. Two measure use the ruler below to see if you have a keeper. Three share share a picture of your fish on Instagram using the hashtag hashtag MTB keeper. Oh, maybe we'll do that this year. Sneak Attack Soft Swim Jig by Dynamic. Dyna, Dynamic. This is a bass lure. It's even got a picture of a bass. This is a paddle tail swim bait on a jig head. You can probably catch trout on it too. Trout are also apex predator once they've been in the water for a little while. And you can get a lot of reaction strikes out of trout especially if you're fishing the stockers about the first couple of days when they put stockers in they're stupid they do get it together pretty quick though so that's a nice little bait out yeah it'd be a nice finesse bait too for smallmouth or something when you can't entice them to bite so i might try that out on the kayak as well thing doesn't fall well the wonders never cease we have a one six ounce vexen rattling wasp i'm familiar with vexen they're out of iowa and vexen makes most of their crankbaits for walleye fishing that's what they originally started with that's a it's a pretty neat little color that's trout colors it's got those bright colors on it so i see why they sort of a turquoise chartreuse green and a in a, a rainbow pinkish color like a rainbow trout stripe so i see why they would say this would work for trout i don't think anything in this box will work especially stockers as well as the stuff that people are probably already using i don't see a bottle of power bait here and power bait if you're catching trout to keep especially the stockers power bait you can just pretty much nail them once you find them 
so much so that it's actually in a lot of wild areas and native areas is actually illegal to use doe bait, live bait and doe bait. So these lures might come in handy in some of those uh, areas where I have to use artificial only. So that's at Vexen. This is Gappin's Nickelheads Ripple Twist. Tiny little jig with a orange grub, ribbon tail grub on it there. Got all the sizes listed here. But I don't see what size this actually is. I'm guessing a 180 ounce. It's pretty small. Uh, now this is a Carl's Bait exclusive, amazing baits, the Whipper Snapper. Little lure, little crankbait. It's tiny too. It's from if you don't have a, a ruler on you for things, from joint to joint is about an inch, estimated. So. That's that's not even two inches, and that's with the uh, the bill the square bill included. The lure itself is about an inch, so it's tiny. My wife would say it's a cute little thing. Got a rattle in it. So this is a Carl's Bait exclusive. Uh, Carl's is also owned by Catchco, same people that own Mystery Tackle Box, operate Mystery Tackle Box. We'll see how that works. Mega tees, five centimeter or two inch, eight piece. Uh, little fluke. Uh, it's like a tiny fluke. Finesse bait, uh, kind of like the small gulp eyes by Berkeley. I'm a big fan of the gulp eyes by Berkeley. I don't know about them being green. So it says XL tail design, double layer lifelike scale pattern, optimized flexibility, and 3D ghost eyes. Perfected for drop shot. So this is for drop shot fishing. You can see that. There. They are tiny though. Well, everything in this box is tiny. I guess trout you go with smaller hooks and smaller baits. But this says pan fish and trout fishing kit. So you can also use these for pan fish, aggressive bluegills and crappies. That'd probably be an effective crappie bait. So that's what's in this box. We had, uh, well, there's also a Carl's Tips. There's a little booklet inside, Carl's Tips and Tricks. This one was about using the bathroom. I didn't feel the need to share it, so I set it aside. I figure most anglers can figure that one out for themselves. And I'm not joking, there really was tips on using the bathroom. Limited time, a uh, limited edition sticker. It's pretty neat right there. That'll go on our freezer of fame when we get the freezer back and build the other studio. That's a pretty nice little sticker. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five to six baits. We got five, it's supposed to be a 20, $25 value in the box. Um, I don't know. It might be pushing that. I will say, like I said, I had some rebates to use and some of the stuff was on clearance. There's the reason I picked it up and also gave me something to do a video on with the weather the way it is right now. Um, so I guess it's a, you know, if you're like me and fish and tackle, is your like guilty pleasure that's what i spend my money on i'm sort of a tackle whore um it's a pretty neat little concept i i don't know if this one's actually worth it 
to be honest, because I think these these retail regularly for nineteen ninety nine without the rebate. So if you don't have the rebate or they're not on clearance, you're going to spend nineteen ninety nine for this. So twenty dollars and if you live in a state with sales tax, as most of us do, by the time you apply the sales tax, you're looking at $25 for a $25 value box. So there's not really the value in here, the, the discounted value in this one that uh, they're trying to lay claim to. I think, um, like I think some of those lures will work. And you use lures where you have to, you know, for trout fishing. Most of the trout anglers I know, if you're fishing for stockers, like a artificial bait, a box full of artificial baits for, for trout, and there wasn't an inline spinner. I've caught more trout on an inline spinner than anything. And then power bait, of course, if, you, if you're going to use power bait, a trout magnet. A trout magnet would uh, work better than probably just about anything in that box uh, to me. But if you want to give it a try, I'll leave a link to Mystery Tackle Box in the description box below. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but if you just want to go check it out for yourself, feel free to. Hopefully we'll be back to the fishing pretty soon here on our channel. Uh, we are coming out with uh, the shorts. We're doing some of the shorts for that, uh, for that trend. We're releasing uh, a short video at least once a week. I think this week we're going to do two. Also, we're doing Thursday night lives now on Blue Collar Fishing. That's 7.30 Eastern Standard Time on Thursday nights. This week, because I'm about to launch this video here in a minute, so this week we will have Alex Rudd of Alex Rudd Fishing, and we're going to be talking about kayak bass fishing tournaments, some tips and tricks and different tackle you can use, some of the rules and regulations of how you can enter where you can go and enter these kayak bass fishing tournaments. You know, kayak bass fishing and, and kayak fishing in general has really grown over the past few years. It's one of the biggest changes in the fishing industry. So we're going to be discussing that. Alex Rudd, if you haven't seen him, I'll also leave a link to his channel so you can go check him out before you come into our live and watch him, hopefully. Um, Alex Rudd is an absolute wealth of knowledge when it comes to bass fishing. So if bass fishing is your thing and you're trying to learn, Check out Alex Rudd.